All right, so let us talk about vector addition. Okay, with vector addition, if I have some vector u, which has endpoint a comma b, and I have a vector v, which has the endpoint c comma d, if I want to add these two vectors, then all I have to do is add the uh, corresponding coordinates. That will be A plus C and B plus D. Okay. And one thing you want to note is that when you draw this, the endpoint of vector U is going to be the starting point of vector V. So if I have u going in this direction and v going in this direction, I don't want to start v there. What I want to do is start v where u ends. Okay. And then the vector u plus v is that vector right there. Okay. So let's do an example. So I have vector u as 1, 2, and vector v as 3, 1. Okay. So what I want to do is draw u plus v and find its coordinates. Okay. So first let me draw this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And I want vector u to be 1, 2, so that would be here. So that's u. v is 3, 1. That's here. Okay. But if I were to draw them, uh, if I want to add them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, these are one. I start off with u, okay, and then v is gonna start here, okay, and it's gonna be three long in the x direction, one long in the y direction. So if I'm gonna go three here and one up there, it's gonna end there. This is v, and this is u, okay. And u plus v looks like that. Okay. And u plus v is 1 plus 3. Remember a plus c. Whoops. That should be a plus comma. Oh, no, that just looks messy. 1 plus 3 comma 2 plus 1. So that's 4, comma, 3. That is the endpoint of vector u plus v. So you can see that's what it is. And this is my vector u plus v right there. Okay? Let us do vector subtraction. Vector subtraction is pretty much the same as vector addition. Okay, so if I have u minus v, that's like adding u plus a negative vector v. Okay, and if v is some has an endpoint c comma d, then negative v is just negative of those. With these, uh, if u has, let's say, a comma b, and v has c comma d, 
then when we subtract those two vectors, we simply subtract their coordinates, a comma c, a minus c, and b minus d. Okay. And we got to be a little bit careful about the starting and end points. Okay, u minus v. Okay, it starts at the endpoint of v. Okay, and it ends at the endpoint of u. Okay, so that's a little bit different than vector addition. Remember, in vector addition the starting point of this vector is the start point of u and the ending point of this vector is the end point of v. In vector subtraction now we got to be a little bit careful because it starts where v ends and it ends where u ends. Okay. So let us do an example. Okay. If u is Let's take it as 1 comma 2, so what we had before, v is 3 comma 1, okay, then u minus v, so I always calculate them first rather than draw them, is 1 minus 3 and 2 minus 1, so that's going to be negative 2 and 1, okay, and if I want to draw this, So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, kind of try to make them as even as possible. U is going like this, so let me switch up my colors a little bit. 1, comma, 2. V is going like this. 3, comma, 1. So that's V. This was u. Okay. So I want to start my this vector where v ends. Okay. And I want to end it where u ends. So where does v end? Right here. Where does u end? Right there. So the resulting vector, the subtraction, is going to go in this direction where that is u minus v. Okay? So it starts here and it ends there. And if you were just to put that on a... 2, 3, 4, on another axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, it has the endpoint negative 2, comma 1. That is the same as this. So I've just picked up this piece and moved it to start at the origin. Okay, so this blue vector here and this black vector here are the same. So that is vector subtraction. Okay, so we've done vector addition and vector subtraction. Let us look at scalar multiplication. Okay. 